just give us your reaction to the news today, how surprised you were, if you were surprised, and sort of what um, you had expected from today. Um, you know, today I expected to go later, but, um, you know, I'm just thankful, man, and extremely blessed. You know, I can't thank God more than enough. I can't thank my supporting cast, can't thank my family, can't thank my best friends, can't thank my agent. You know, it's just, it's just a blessing, man, and um, to get that call, you know, it's once in a lifetime, it's priceless. I can't even explain it. You know, I'm still out right now. I'm still in shock. But, um, you know, I'm ready to get to work, man. I'm ready to go out there, man, and just, you know, make an impact. Go out there, man, and soak up some game and just go out there and just, you know what I'm saying, do what I do. Jalen, had you had any contact with the Falcons prior to this? And um, um, did you hear from them at all today before before their call? Uh, yes, sir. At the combine, man, I talked to Coach, one of the DB, the DB coach, man, and uh, – you know, I had a lot of good things to say about me. He called me two days before, and um, he basically was just like, yeah, man, you know, love what I did, love my game and stuff like that. And I sent him some, you know, workout videos of what I've been doing during this quarantine. And he was just like, man, you know what I'm saying? I love his player and the person, you know. And I just got that call, and it was just like, wow. Like, okay. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Did you put OC on? Okay, Jeff, any follow-ups for now? Not for now. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to Jake Curtis, also with uh, SI Cal Sports Report. Jake? Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you know about the Falcons and their defensive backfield? Good backfield. You know what I'm saying? They got good set days. Good, you know what I'm saying? Good DBs. You know what I'm saying? Um, great DBs. They just got to talk early. You know what I'm saying? So the team is building. And, you know, I'm looking to be a part of that build. Jake, any follow-ups? That's good. Okay. All right. We'll go to Emily Oman. Emily from the Daily Cal. Question for uh, Jalen. First of all, congratulations. Um, I know Thank this you. is a huge day for you. Uh, and Kyle was telling us all before, uh, this is the first time that two defensive backs have been drafted from Cal in the first four rounds. And it's the first time that two safeties have ever come out of Cal um, in the draft. So I know that like you said, you weren't even expecting to go this early, um, and now you're here making history. So, how does that feel for you? Just a blessing, man. You know, I'm really, I'm really like, man, like when yesterday, when I asked him where yesterday, man, I almost cried. Um, just the amount of like, I might end up crying right now. Um, you know, what I'm saying the, the grind don't stop. This is the beginning, but just the amount of like hours we put in, and you know, what I'm saying, talked about this and. Everything we did with Coach GA, just with each other, man, from believing, believing in each other, man. And it was just a brotherhood back there, man. And, uh, you know, it, you know what I'm saying? We really grinded, man. Like, really put in for this, man. You know, it's just, it's just crazy, man. From being back there on kickoff with each other, man. Like, just everything, man. Like, we, my man, I'm sorry, man. But, no worries at all. I know this is a this is a huge day for you. I can't even. Eliza, Cam, imagine. Trey, all them really got out the mud, man. And with with it's really changed the culture, man. Like I know I'm getting sensitive in my boy Trey, but man, it, it's just it just hit my heart, man. And you know this is just the beginning, you know. But man, it just means a lot, man. It's, it just means a lot. It means a lot. It means a lot. Well, thank for you real. for that. Um, just one more follow-up question really fast. I know that it's kind of hard to think about preparing um, when the whole country is pretty much shut down. Um, but do you have any plans, kind of your next steps, what you're thinking of doing? I've been working, you know, ever since shut down, I have a field facility I've been working at, so I've been working um, consistently. I actually got to work out tomorrow. And, you know, I'm just going to keep working, you know, keep working until everything open up and I'm getting ready. You know what I'm saying? Keep, stay ready, so I got to get ready. So. That's the main thing I'm doing. Oh, my bad for the tears. Man, I ain't trying to be sensitive. I ain't trying to be none of that, man. But, man, it's just, I'm just a passionate person. And, and it's just hit different, man. And, like, yeah. for real, like I said yesterday, man, from seeing my boy go, seeing what all that he been through, man, all that we've been through from the jump, he playing corner, I'm playing corner, then we move back to safety, he learning, I'm learning, we get together, we start doing stuff during the year, he start, man, it's just – it's just God, man. It just, and it don't stop here, but it's just God.
Well, thank you so much and, and congratulations again. And that's all for me. Yeah. One more thing. And we was roommates at the combine, man. That's a guy, <laughs> man. Like, I can't. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Good, good stuff, Jalen. Uh, Shalen, you want to stick with the Daily Cow and a uh, question from Shalen? Yeah. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, Dan Quinn has coached some super talented, strong safeties in the NFL. Guys like Cam Chancellor and Keanu Neal. Are either of those players guys you follow or draw inspiration from? Yeah, Cam Chancellor, a baller for sure. I used to watch a lot of his film with GA. Just super good, man. Athletic, but not only that, just so smart. Sam with Keanu Neal, come down, make a good hit. You know what I'm saying? Also make some good plays in the back end. I'm just ready to just go up there and soak up so much game and just improve my game, man. That's it. You know, and uh, being coached by a great coach like that, you know, I'm, I'm willing to learn and go out there and put my best foot forward. And then lastly, the Falcons have a really young secondary. What's it going to be like to go in and compete right away? Um, just a blessing, man. You know, I'm a competitive person, so I kind of already expected that whatever round or whatever I was going, man, I did. You know, I'm, I'm not the type of guy to, that really likes to be second to nine. So, you know, I'm just going to go out there, like I said, so I go to this game and compete, man, and, and bring that, that energy to the, to the Falcons. Thank you. Okay. Uh, David Bush from Bear Insider. Questions for Jalen. Uh, no, I was going to defer to Jim, okay. my coworker, Jim McGill, up there. Okay. All right, Jim McGill, questions for Jalen? Jalen, congrats. Uh, you talk real passionately about your bond with your defensive backfield mates, and, uh, you know, three of you are, have, have graduated and are looking forward to um, NFL careers. But what do you have to say about the guys that are coming back, with, you know, Cam and Elijah and, and Josh? The young guys, what are your thoughts on their future? Defensive uh, I love them like my brothers. Um, my thoughts are gonna be to, uh, to me, you know, I'm biased, I'm not biased, but the code is secondary because those are my guys. I'm always pulling for my guys, and they work extremely hard for Cam, Isaac, Josh, Craig, you know, my house. Um, I can name all of them, even to some of the new additions, Jay Pastor, all of my, you know what I'm saying. My guys, I just want them to, you know, they I know they consistently working and we still we still got each other on the group chat and we send each other videos of us working and I know they working their tails off right now, even though it's quarantine, so I know it's gonna pay off. And my boy D Scott too. I and my boy Tiggy. I, I can name all of them. Those are my dogs. Do you have any follow ups? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, uh, Trace Travers, Golden Bear Report. <laughs> Uh, hey, Jalen, thanks again, and congratulations on all this. Thank you. Um, you mentioned Coach GA, and obviously, has he kind of contacted you guys throughout these past couple of days? Yeah, even though yeah. you're going to be competing against him. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. He, he contacted us. He uh, he actually um, texted He texted, um, texted me the, the other day and said, um, you know, Josh started, man, your dream is going to come true, man. Uh, I just, you know, pray for the best, you know, sending me good luck. Good, good, good spirits, man. That's it. And, um, you know, he texted me earlier this morning, and then he texted me today, and then he called my pops. You know, so it, it's just crazy. Trace, any follow-ups? Yeah, just uh, I asked this of Ashton. Has your phone stopped buzzing since you got drafted? I'm on my phone going crazy right now. Uh, my phone's jumping. I'm getting calls as we speak. And you know, messages, you know, so I'm just, you know, uh, so, you know, just phone going up, man. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, right now, it's just, I'm, I think I'm just putting my phone away and really just, you know, living the moment and, uh, you know what I'm saying, spend time with my family, you know what I'm saying? Because this, this is crazy, man. This hit different, you know, because so much, you know, just so much pain and passing and heart has been put into this game. It's not over yet. This is the beginning, but. You know, just to get this far, man. And I really thought about that, man. I woke up at like five this morning and I was just praying to God and really just thinking about man, whatever it whatever happens, man, he he took me through a through a long path, man. And you know, I, I couldn't even be thankful to be here, man, wherever. Man, for real, man. I'm just I'm just thankful and I'm just I'm just blessed. Okay. Um Trace, you good for now? 
Yeah, I'm good for now. Thanks. Okay. Uh, I think we have Chris Jones on. Chris, do you have a question here for Jalen? Uh, Jalen. Uh, yes, how you yes doing? I do. Good. Thank you. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. What would you want the Atlanta Falcon organization to know about you as a person and a player? And what will you contribute to that organization? Man, I'm a hundred, man. I'm, I'm a stand up guy, man. You know, uh, a real, real solid man. You know, a man of integrity and a man who, who loves the game. Well, I'm not going to lie, man. You know, like Kyle No, and some of the other reporters who see me at practice, man. You know, I just, I love it, man. And I'm, I'm real passionate, man. And I have a lot of heart. And I'm also like very competitive. So I just want the organization to know, man, that I, I, for one, I thank them for taking the out on me. For two, they're getting one of the most hardest workers. And just overall, you know, best football player, man. I, I love the game, man. So whatever role I'm in or whatever I'm in, I'm going to go in 10 and I'm going to make plays and I'm going to make it happen. And, um, you know, they're going to the student of the game. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Chris, any follow-ups? Uh, uh, congratulations, man, and good luck. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. You're welcome. And we have Curtis. Curtis, any questions? Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's get through a final time to see if anybody else has any any final questions, and then we'll let Jalen get back to uh, hanging out with his family. Um, Maybe in a little bit of a different order here, just going off my Zoom. But Trace Travers, any final questions? Uh, no, thank you. Congratulations, Jalen. Enjoy your time with your family. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay, uh, Jim McGill, any final questions? I'm good. Congrats, Jim. I'm looking forward to seeing Thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, Jeff Ferrato, any final questions? Sure. Hey, Jalen, uh, can you sort of paint a picture of what this morning was like when you found out you've got your whole family there? How, how did they react? How did you react? Who was there? Kind of, what did that look like? What did that feel like? I can't explain it. Um, you know, I just, my phone rang, right? And then the call, like, ended. So I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm in the car right now. I'm just at Atlanta, Georgia. And then my dad missed his call. Then I called back, and I'm like, hold on. And I was like, no way. Like, nah. Pick his in. <laughs> and I, I kind of froze the hours. just turned up, man. I feel like we won the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, it, it's, I can't explain it. I, I was just thrilled, man. You know, and just blessed with this opportunity, man. So the call was dropped initially, and then you saw it on TV, and then they called you back? So I, I accidentally, like, hung up by accident, but not, I think they were calling my dad. So then I called them back, and then I'm like, okay. Okay, for sure. And then, we, and then I was like, whoa, like, no way. I just feel like I, yeah, I can't explain it. And your family's reaction? Um, family is just happy, man. Very happy, you know. I was expected to go a little later, uh, you know, like fifth, six. But my family is just ex extremely happy. Did you think you would be a free agent signing, or did you believe you would be drafted today? I'm not. I mean, with God's will, honestly, man, I feel like whoever God would have put me, man, even if it was UD, I'm making an impact. Uh, just it would have been more of a. I already have a tip of my shoulder, but it would be more of a tip. But uh. From what teams were telling me, you know, I had a pretty good insight. You know, I would get drafted, but it would have been later than expected. Right. Enjoy your great day. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right, uh, Jake Curtis, any final things for Jalen? I'm good. Uh, Emily Oman? Nothing for me. Congrats again. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, Shaylin Singh, anything else for Jalen? Uh, not really. I go to Cal, but as you see, I've been a diehard Falcons fan since I was like three, so we're excited to have you. Thank you, man.